if the person has a ring on and it cannot come off, what you want to do, the first thing you want to try and do is get that ring off. So what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to lube up their finger with whatever you have. If there's hand cream, soap works really good. And what you have to do is you have to kind of twist it because it, um, the ring tends to get hung up on the PIP joint, and that is the heart. If you can get the ring over the PIP joint, you should be in really good shape. So what you want to do is you want to really lube their finger up, and you just want to slowly twist it and, and try and twist it over the, the PIP joint. And if you can get it there, it's off, all right? If you can't get it there because the finger is swollen, this is called Coban. Fat finger. Hmm? This is fat finger. Mm -hmm. And what you can do is you can take a piece of Coban and you can wrap, you can wrap their finger really tight with the Coban and the Coban is going to push the fluid down and hopefully it's going to push the fluid under the ring so that at least you have you have some wiggle room to go all right and then you can take that off and hopefully her finger will be a little bit thinner and the, the edema comes back really fast so you got to work rather quickly and you might want to keep the, the person's hand up like this so that when you're working the ring off um, it's very uncomfortable for a lot of people, and you just have to kind of talk them through and say, you know, just put up with this for just a, sh a short while, and we'll get it off, right? Doesn't always work, because if the person has arthritis in addition to the stroke, their, their knuckles are going to be enlarged anyway, so then... Cut the it off. Let <laughs> me go see here, and she cuts it off. All right. So, right, what right. we're going to do to determine if the person has edema in their hands, we're going to compare the two hands, and let's say this is the side that she had a stroke on. So, we're going to compare her right hand with her left hand, and her right hand would be slightly larger to, the, to your vision. The skin might be shiny, which means it's being pushed up, right? And... Then what you need to do is you need to take a tape measure and take the tape measure and you put it in the web space of the thumb, all right? And then you bring the tape measure around and you measure it. And her, for the sake of argument, I'm going to say her hand is eight inches around, okay? So then we're going to do one of two different techniques. The first one I'm going to show you is distal to proximal wrapping. And you're going to take an ACE bandage and you're going to start at the fingertips. Alright? And I'm going to wrap, I'm going to wrap the ACE bandage around the distal portion of her hand and every time I get to the end before I start going around again, I'm going to tug on it. So I tug on it, and every time I tug on this, it's going to push the fluid up into the arm. All right? Do that. So bring it around. Tug. Now, when you get to the thumb, you're not going to wrap the thumb. You're going to wrap around the thumb. So when you get to this point, you're going to go start to make an X. All right? And then you're going to come around again, and you're going to go on the other side of the thumb. And just for good measure, you're going to come back on the other side of the thumb like that. And I'm going to pretend she's not wearing a bracelet. And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to wrap it. Wrap it. Do you keep tugging, or is it mm -hmm. loose now? What's that? You keep tugging it, right? I'm keep tugging it. Yeah, I'm not tugging it now because she's got a bracelet on. But every time you do that, you're pushing the fluid farther back up the arm. Right. Once you get up about halfway up the arm, then you can start taking it off. Always keep this thing rolled up because if you have it just all over the place, it's going to be a disaster for you. I'm going to take it off. Like so. And then I might do this two or three times. 
just to try and push the fluid out. So then what I'm going to do after I do that is I'm going to take my measuring tape and in her case it's the same because she has no edema <laughs> in her hand. But when you have somebody with a stroke their, their unaffected hand could be like 8 inches around their affected hand could be 10 to 12 inches around. Right? So there's a significant difference. Right? It's important that you use the measuring tape. You always measure before you do the treatment, and then you always mm -hmm. measure after you do the treatment. So you do a pre-treatment measurement, and you do a post-treatment measurement. Okay? And where do you document that? In the objective portion of, of your soap, because it's measurable, because it's measurable right? So and you do both hands to establish a baseline from the um, non. <clears throat> no, it's it's not. Mess I mean, you could you could initially measure the non-affected hand and say, you know, non-affected hand is blah blah blah. So that that would be a baseline. You could do that. But I mean, when you look at a lot of people's hands, they are obviously swollen. 